Let's say just a few words on this disaster in Pakistan, the aviation tragedy, um, because it's the worst aviation accident this year. Uh, I'm not including the Ukraine Airline 752, which was shot down over Iran, because that was uh, a different context. Um, over 150 people perished in that disaster, that incident. Um, but this is the worst uh, aviation incident, which appears to be an accident. So what we know is that the black box has been recovered and the flight was uh, PK-8303 from Lahore to Karachi and at least 97 people on board, uh, passengers and crew have survived. I'm not sure if that's including any fatalities on the ground. Uh, this crashed into an area called the Model Colony, which is a densely populated neighbourhood of Karachi. Um, I'd be very surprised if there weren't also fatalities on the ground. There have been a few other incidents in aviation history of plane crashes in urban areas. Uh, the Queen's plane crash in 2001 in New York City. Um, and of course, the Lockerbie bombing in 1989, 1988, excuse me, which came down on the village of Lockerbie and actually killed 11 people on the ground. I've been to the crash site. Uh, I mean, I've been to the memorial site at the local cemetery. They're a very moving place. But um, Pakistan is a country that has a long history of aviation disasters. And Dawn, the Dawn newspapers laid out uh, a number of them, either within Pakistan or involving Pakistani aircraft. Um, with the black box recovered, hopefully they could find out what's happened here and prevent such a future tragedy. But it's a major one, at least 97 people killed. Um, chaos scenes on the ground. It thought that there was about two survivors, but people who were injured on the ground, um, according to Al Jazeera, have been treated at the Jinnah Postgraduate Medical Centre, which is the largest government hospital in Karachi, and others are being treated at the Civil Hospital Karachi. So, um, just going to run down a few of the other disasters. Before I continue, actually, um, I don't know how people will read this, but um, I do this thing sometimes when there's a tragedy somewhere in the world. I'm a little bit, I'm reluctant to say sentimental, but I guess it is spiritual. I just do this little thing where uh, I've um, oh yeah, got a candle vigil here. Just setting a little candle for the victims. It's, I mean, I know it doesn't change the, the facts, but just something I kind of always feel like doing when these things happen. No particular reason, just what I do. Um, okay, so Dawn newspaper has laid out other disasters, um, and I'm just going to read a few of these. Like I said, Pakistan is a country that's a long history of aviation disasters, a bit like Russia and Iran in that sense. May the 20th, 1965. Um, a PIA Boeing 707 crashes on its inaugural flight while attempting to land at Cairo Airport, killing 124 people. That's uh, almost exactly 55 years ago. Um, August 6, 1970, a PIA Fokker 527 turboprop aircraft crashes while attempting to take off from Islamabad in a thunderstorm, killing all 30 people on board. Um, I'll go, go through all of them. Um, November the 26th, 1979. A PIA Boeing 707 bringing home Pakistani Hajj pilgrims from Saudi Arabia crashes shortly after takeoff from Jeddah Airport, killing 156 people. That was in Saudi Arabia. Um, and of course, the flight that uh, had General Mohammed Zia al Haq in 1988 that came down, 30 other people died in that incident. August 25th, 1989, a PIA Fokker carrying 54 people disappears after leaving Gilgit. The wreckage is never found. Um, just going uh, ahead a bit. Um, 1992, and I believe this is the worst in Pakistani history, a PIA Airbus A300 crashes into a cloud-covered hillside on approach to the Nepalese capital Kathmandu after the plane descended too early, killing 167 people. Um, going forward a bit, um, July the 10th, 2006, a PIA Fokker 527 bound for Lahore crashes into a field and bursts into flames shortly after takeoff from Multan, killing 41 passengers and four crew. Um, July the 28th, 2010, 
an Air Blue Airbus 321 operated by the private airline Air Blue flying from Karachi crashes into hills outside Islamabad while preparing to land, killing all 152 people on board. I actually remember that one um, being reported. And shortly after that, November the 5th, the same year, 2010, a twin engine plane operated by Pakistani charter JS Air carrying staff from an Italian oil company crashes shortly after takeoff in Karachi, killing all 21 people on board. Um, and again, the same year, November 2010, 12 people are killed when a Russian made Ilyushin IL 76 cargo plane operated by Georgian Airlines Sunway crashes into a fireball seconds after taking off from Karachi. Karachi itself has had a lot of disasters. Now, prior to this incident, the last deadliest incident was April 20th, 2012. A Boja Air Boeing 737 from Karachi comes down in bad weather near Islamabad, killing 121 passengers and six crew members. Um, and then four years ago, December the 7th, 2016, a PIA ATR-42 aircraft crashes en route from Chitral, uh, Chitral to Islamabad. The crash claims the lives of all 48 passengers and crew, including singer Kamavangelis Junaid Jamshid. So there's a long history of aviation disasters in Pakistan or involving Pakistani aircraft. I just hope that lessons can be learned. They've recovered the black box. Um, and, you know, it's... Um, it's awful thinking of uh, all those who have perished because uh, flights were, the, apparently there was lockdown restrictions for coronavirus and flights have just resumed. So it's really sad that this has happened. Um, I was speaking to a Canadian friend and she knew she had clients who were actually, had relatives on the flight. So having said that, aviation still remains profoundly safe compared to previous decades. Um, but it's no comfort for those who were caught up in this.